In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a series shortcut and automation that enables you to log reoccurring bills into your budget spreadsheet in Apple Numbers. I'm going to assume that you've seen my previous video on logging transactions via the Shortcuts app and have a basic understanding of how that works. So the stock Apple's Reminders app is quite a powerful app and has many useful features. In this case, I'm going to use the app as a bit of a storage container where information on any bills or transactions I might have can be stored and edited easily. Using the repeat setting in Reminders, you can easily set up some reoccurring reminders to not only remind you to log these into your budget spreadsheet, but actually automatically log them for you. So you can see on the screen that I'm in the Reminders app on the left and I have some reminders inside. Notice the formatting. I have the amount and description of the transaction as the title of the reminder. These are separated with a vertical bar or pipe, I think it's called, and some spaces. I have the category of the transaction in the notes section. I have the date for the transaction set. And I also have the repeat setting toggled as well as a tag allocated. More on those a bit later. So when I run the shortcut called reoccurring bills, which we will make in a moment, it's going to take all that information and chuck it in my budget spreadsheet. Once complete, it'll pop up with an alert and you'll be able to see that the information has been added in my table. So the workflow for this shortcut can be broken down into these main steps. You set a reminder in a reminders list that includes the date, description, category, and amount of a transaction in it. Once you've set up the shortcut, you set up an automation to run the shortcut each day at a time of your choosing. Each day, the shortcut looks for any reminders due and using the information in them, logs all the details of the transactions into your spreadsheet automatically. The shortcut then very kindly checks off the reminder and leaves you with a message saying which transactions were logged in the spreadsheet. So in this video, I'll start with building the shortcut first and then we will set the automation up to run it each day. Start by creating a new reminders list. Give it a name. At this point, you may also wish to share it with a collaborator as well if you want. Although only one of you will need to run the shortcut each day. I've already got a reminders list here already set up called Take a Shortcut Finance. Once that is set up, create a new shortcut by pressing the plus button in the Shortcuts app. The first part of this shortcut is going to find the reminder with the information in it. Add the Find Reminders action to the shortcut. Make sure you have all reminders and all checked. Choose your newly made list. Add another filter and this time choose tags and contains transactions. In each reminder, if we add a transactions tag, this means that we can use the list to make other finance related reminders that won't get picked up by this shortcut. For example, sometimes I set a reminder for me to change a bill amount on a certain day, but I don't want this shortcut to accidentally log that in my spreadsheet. Add another filter and choose is not completed. And the final filter to be deadline. Let's choose is before and then right click or tap and hold choosing current date. Customize current date using the custom option so that it is set to 11.59 of the day. So in 24 hour time, it's 23.59.59. This way the shortcut will look for a reminder that is due any time before tomorrow. This also conveniently includes overdue reminders. Say you forgot to run the automation yesterday. I don't use the due today function as it seems to also include any reminders due tomorrow for some reason, it could be a bug. Add an if statement. If there are any reminders ready to log, we want to open the spreadsheet and get it loading as soon as possible. I like to add a wait action to give it a chance to load before the rest of the shortcut tries to add data into it. Now the next step is to get all the relevant info from each reminder that met our criteria above and add it to the spreadsheet. As we don't know how many reminders it will be adding, we need to use a repeat for each action. The loop of actions we will make will happen for each reminder, one at a time that is due today. So let's extract the info. 
add the get details from reminder action twice. Set one to deadline and one to notes. Choose repeat item. This is each reminder one at a time in the loop. To keep things a little more ordered, we're gonna add a set variable action. Imagine this is like giving a nickname to your piece of data so that you can find it easily in the shortcut. Let's call the reminder deadline date and the reminder notes category. If you recall how the reminder was set out, the title of the reminder had two pieces of information. It had the amount at the beginning, then a vertical bar sandwiched by two spaces, followed by the description. We need to extract each piece of information separately. So add the split text action. We are splitting the repeat item, which is our reminder. You can split text up a number of ways. This time we are going to split the text with our space line space sandwich. Add get item from list and choose first item. That's the amount because it's before the vertical bar. Add another get item from list and choose last item. That's our description. And then give them both a nickname using the set variable action. When duplicating actions in shortcuts, just double check that the joining lines are still there and that way your shortcut will still run properly. At this point, I like to add a wait action, just to give the shortcut a moment to make sure each transaction gets logged. Now it's time to add the add row to top or bottom of table action. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you know the drill. Add in the variables in order of the columns from your spreadsheet table. Don't forget to format the date in the sheet name so that it's just the year. Once that's complete, now we get to check off the reminder. Add the edit reminder action and set is completed of the repeat item to yes. If the reminder has a repeat function, it will then automatically set a new due date for the next time this particular bill or transaction is due. Yay! The following actions help create a notification for you to tell you which reminders were logged. Of course, this is completely optional, so you can leave this out. So the first thing we'll do is add a text action. I'd like to see what item and category got logged, as well as the price. You can add whatever you'd like, but those are the variables that I'm going to add in. Use the add to variable action underneath. This will send this little chunk of text off to the variable called, let's call it notification. So once that's set up, now we've processed each reminder one at a time, we will now have a list of each item we log sitting in this variable called notification. So outside of the repeat loop, add an if action, choose reminders and has any value. So what we are saying is, if there were any reminders to log, show me a notification. 
You can use a show notification action if you like. I'm actually going to use an alert instead as it can display more information on the screen. So add a text action followed by show alert. Add the notification variable into the text box and in the alert action, add the text variable to show. Tap on show more and you can remove the cancel button as well. It just makes it look cleaner. Now, if there aren't any reminders due today, you can have it do nothing, or you can show another alert and have it say something like, nothing from reminders today. And with that, the shortcut is complete. Hit pause and give it a test if you like. Now onto the automation. It's probably the simplest part of this build. I use my phone for this. Navigate to the Automations tab in the Shortcuts app. Hit plus and choose Time of Day. Choose a time to get notified to run the Reoccurring Bills shortcut. As Shortcut needs the phone unlocked to add anything to your spreadsheet, you'll still need to approve of the automation running, but it'll appear as a notification on your lock screen where you can then run the shortcut. Choose a time when you want all of this to happen. I'm going to choose 7 a.m. And all we need to do now is locate the recurring bills shortcut and choose that. Now each day it'll run at that time. Check your reminders and log anything that's due. And after that, it's mission accomplished. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you would like a copy of the shortcut, there should be a link in the description. Thanks for watching.